Ben. I love it. It's one better than the five o'clock. Yeah. I can catch you soon. The WGN singers, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> there were three, but a budget <laughs> cut, really. That's right. Some infighting. Yeah. Yeah. All right, number six, uh, running vests are a big deal right now. You've got to tell Robin. Uh, but nobody's using them for running. They're more like an accessory. Huh? Nobody yeah. wants to actually work up a sweat and go running in these things, so they just want to look like they do. And those vests come in soups handy. Uh, they can hold all sorts of staples like cell phones, Candy lip bars. glosses, <laughs> dew drops, snacks. And, of course, water bottles because you've got to stay hydrated. People are getting dehydrated all over the place. Yeah. Uh, the idea is to wear the vest and fill it with all sorts of fun little doodads. And lots of kids are using them instead of bags or backpacks. Yeah. They look like they provide a lot of support, too, Pat. Yeah. Yeah. That they do, Pat. Um, For those of us who are a little fuller figure. Yeah. 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 <laughs> well, that would not include me, so. Yeah. Maybe years ago. Bragger. Oh, All right, number five. Ham Working is blue already. Yeah, uh, yeah, Dude, that's what yeah, he does. Didn't yeah. take him long. Yeah. Ham is delicious. So <laughs> let's share some ham facts, shall we? Not all ham needs to be refrigerated. Isn't that nice? Dry cured ham, prosciutto, and country ham can be. What did you just call that? Prosciutto. <laughs> How would you like to pronounce it? Oh my God. Prosciutto. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> Careful. Good. Keep going. Keep going, Skippy. And country ham can be <laughs> safely stored without going in the fridge. Which foods do your people boast, huh? <laughs> Knockwurst? <laughs> Schnitzel? It's yeah. good stuff. Country hams are salted and smoked to cure them. And uh, these other dry cured hams have lots of other, uh, lots of salt content, so they're okay too. USDA officials say these types of hams can be safely stored at a room temperature for up to a year. Mm. After that year, the ham uh, may still be safe to eat, but it won't taste as great. <laughs> this has been Ham Facts. Mm. Thank you. Just, would you just pronounce it once? Prosciutto. Prosciutto. And you gotta do the hand, you gotta prosciutto? do the hand gesture. I don't, I blocked well, out what you called it already. It offended me so much. <laughs> All right, uh, number four, remember this, the little professor from Texas Instruments. Oh, I get this. Yeah. Yeah. I remember this yeah. guy. Yeah, it was a calculator designed for kids kids age five to nine, and it worked backwards. Instead of you entering a math problem like six times huh? nine and waiting for the answer, the little professor would show the equation and give you three chances to get it right. Yeah, that's why we never had one of those in my house. Mm. It came out in 1976 and was a big hit. Practically every kid had one because they cost less than 20 bucks. If you've still got one, they're going for about $65 wow, on that? eBay. Do that math equation. What a steal. <laughs> but if you've got one that's still in the box, you actually could sell it for more than Ooh, $200. Huh. All right, number three, let's talk about the ancestral diet. It's as simple as the name. What you eat is based on what your ancestors ate. Nothing processed, nothing saturated. Common items include grass-fed and wild-caught meats, fruits, vegetables, seeds, and nuts, but only from nature, not the store, and fermented foods like Ooh. certain cheeses, sauerkraut, and yogurt, now but again, talking. only from a farm. Nothing that's in a grocery aisle. Also, this is a TikTok thing. Ah, so definitely medically sound. Yes. Yeah. Mm. I love sauerkraut. I do too. It's delicious. Amazing. I could bathe in it. I did try once. <laughs> and it got a little heavy. I thought that was an onion. No, no, I will uh, like it on my sauerkraut. Shit, though. <laughs> yeah. Number two, wellness vacations are more popular than ever. And lots of women are choosing special menopause retreats. Oh, fun. They're taking part in yoga, sound baths, cold plunges, and breath work. Uh, they're swimming and riding horses and adding more uh, more menopause specific. Is that menopause specific? Yeah, yeah. Horseback riding? Horseback riding? Yeah. I'd be afraid I'd fall off a horse. Yeah. Uh, you get a hot flash when you're on yeah, the horse? Are you kidding? Oof. Anyway, these programs are based on hormone imbalance and estrogen levels. This oh. includes special diets and supplements. All right, well, there we go. Uh, they're paying up to 15 grand for their week-long experience. For breath work and which horseback is, uh, riding? Basically, what it would cost to spend a month or longer at a house in Italy. So. And this seems like a side Neither hustle I could, mm. I could do. Just yeah. gather some people, get some yoga mats, and breathe. get them breathing. Get them yeah. breathing, and you know. That is the one exercise that we're I all do good that. At. I yeah. can do that. All right, number one, uh, the six at six. Uh, this stuff is bananas. 
But what does that mean exactly and why do we say it? It's slang for something that is nonsense or silly. It's also used to describe something that people don't like. Turns out the term originated in the 1950s when monkeys were popular in movies and during the great space race. Uh, that's when the expression go ape became popular and apes like bananas. So that's how the whole thing became a thing. The phrase may have also come from the old-timey flapper slang expression, banana oil, Robin, which was another <laughs> term for nonsense or silliness. It's uh, the banana oil, see? Yeah. The dames, the skirts, they like the banana oil. You were complaining that the producers used video of you slicing a banana for that. Yeah, but it turns out... Yeah. They should have used my my <laughs> flapper outfit oh, instead. Oh, I thought you were going to say for the no. metaphor <laughs> Either one works. That's the uh, six and six. Scott! Oh.